Just landed in Toronto airport. Four hour flight, two hours of sleep. Plan is to go rent a car, drive to Buffalo. House hunting trip. Let's go. Okay, mission one, find a bank and sign up for a bank account. Step two, get food. Step three, wing, wing fest. fest. <laughs> house, then house hunting tomorrow. I shouldn't do this angle because my chins. To Buffalo we go. It's 8.30 a.m. We're in the hotel parking lot. It's too early to check in. We're exhausted. So it is nap time. How come my chair doesn't go back that far? Looks like you chose the wrong chair. That's bullshit. I'm going to sleep for it. I'm so tired. All right, let's go. Mission accomplished. We have a bank account, possibly two credit cards. You have a bank account. I have a bank account, cards. yeah. The guy was like, okay, you need $25. Do you have $25? I was like, no. No? Who carries cash? <laughs> Hopefully getting two credit cards will allow us to establish credit in time to open a mortgage. Hopefully I don't get <laughs> locked out of the US for six to 10 months. This immigration process is confusing and long and kind of scary. You are already a US citizen, so you're in. Correct. Whereas I have visa and blah, 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 so take care. How the hell do we cross the street? Let's find some place to get breakfast. Okay. What do you mean this is the weather you've been waiting for? Fall-ish. Warm enough to not be freezing your buns up, but cool enough for layers. Major key alert, 20 degrees. <laughs> it's not a key alert, this is not- 20 degrees with a breeze. I don't think I'm fancy enough to go into this place. I got a hole in the crotch of my leg and break my leg. Okay, so we can't check into the hotel yet, so we're just gonna drive around. We're gonna scope the neighborhoods for the houses that we picked out. Okay, so that was at all. North on Richmond Avenue toward Vermont, in a quarter mile at the traffic circle. <sighs> Shut up, Siri. We're gonna go try and check into our hotel early. So this hotel we're staying at is actually an old insane asylum that they've converted into a hotel. It's definitely haunted. Definitely haunted. It's okay. What's freaky is the building is massive and only one third of it is complete. So there are still parts of it that are like the way they used to be, I guess. Yo, yo, MTV Cribs, come on in. Really loud down the hall. This is my room. I've got 20 foot ceilings, double, double beds, quadruple bed, weird loungy chair here, accent mood lighting. Don't touch my feet on the bed. Misty flip, desk area, bathroom. Check this out. Oh, damn. We love staying in weird hotel rooms. It kind of makes the trip way more like exciting. Sometimes if you want like that extra experience and you're only going for like a day or two, it's like staying in an interesting hotel. Well, insane asylum. Yeah, this is dope. This is one of the cooler hotels. We need to both go down to the car. How about one of us goes? Rock, paper, scissors, but two out of three. It's paper, scissor, rock. It's rock, paper. It's paper, scissor, rock. Are you kidding me? Best two out of three. I need to get my proper paper, scissor, rock sitting position. Oh, you're gonna sit? Okay, ready? Yeah. Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, scissors, rock. Paper, Boom. scissors, paper, scissors, rock. Oh, oh no, no, no. this is it, right here. This is it, down to the wire. Oh, I'm gonna choose rock. <laughs> paper, scissors, rock. No! Oh, 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 oh no! <laughs> When we renovated our first house, we had all of the same tastes, except for Chris wanted to put like marble tile in one of the bedrooms for whatever reason. But we ended up, <laughs> Forgot about that. we've been pretty on the same page for like everything. But now I've been explaining to him some of my ideas because my tastes have slightly changed and he is not into it. The thing that we need to keep in mind is that we have the design for other people and design still for our tastes. Impossible. Ready for a nap. Look at that. Two plugs, USB. Friggin' genius, especially considering we both forgot our blocks. See you tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Take care. You bye. too. Bye.
one of the houses that we had picked out that we really liked. Two hours pending. Yeah, so we won't be seeing that house tomorrow. Oh, man. We still got homes to look for tomorrow. Rentals to look for, she said. Jeans will be about a half hour each, and then we'll be done by five, so... Ghosts. Place is haunted, I'm telling you. Yeah. For now, Wing Fest is happening this weekend. Obviously, you can't come to Buffalo without having buffalo wings, so... Wing Fest. Oh, how nice of you to fly out in. <laughs> Our first USA event. of vendors and I have no idea which one's the best. We're gonna do a little bit of a recon mission here. Let's get a quick overview of what's available. Crunch roll looks pretty good too. We might have to go there. I don't know, the biggest lineup looks like they're at the army tent. We've been told that this longest lineup has the best flavors. Is that true? I'm telling you, it, it, unique flavors. They're just, they're really good. They're different, especially for around here. Place is from Mexico and I'm telling you, these are good. I've been coming for years and years, so all right, all I'm right. telling you right now that these are unique flavors. We're going to have to do it then. Do it. Okay. Do it. It's, worth the, it's worth the wait. I'm Jay. All right, Jay. Thank you for the, thank you for the nice recommendation. Nice to meet you. All right, so this is the line. It's got Jay's stamp of approval. Okay, new strategy. That line's taking way too long, so I'm going to get the crunch rolls from this shorter line and meet Becky back at the long lineup. Kill two birds with one stone. So crunchy. It's like buffalo sauce. We're in Buffalo. <laughs> the sauce of choice in Buffalo. It's like cheese and peppers. How do you feel about oh, it? Oh shit. It's good. Anything with cheese I like. Glid me jokes. <laughs> I feel like we're gonna need a drink for this. What do you got over there? We got the different categories. There you go. Cup holder cam. We got drinks before we started this. Is it really spicy? <clears throat> Yep. Mm, that's nice. <laughs> you guys are gonna have to ignore all the mess on our face. We have limited napkins. What is this one? This one looks intriguing. This one's got sesame. That's the, the sweet dish. That's Asian. Whoa, you got some bite on you. It's kind of gross the way we're sharing with this wing. People are gonna be really grossed out. Let's go for this one. Teriyaki. I like this one. Oyster. Mm. No, sir, I don't like it. Who's next? Hit him hard, huh? Yeah. Loosen up those. Poor guy. Somebody has a diarrhea. All right, what do you think? One of these ones? Spices. Oregano. Lime or something. Mm. My favorite. Yeah? Yeah. It's your favorite because it has cheese on it. I need to get pissed off watching this back, watching myself eat wings in the gross. I'm getting full. It's like sweet chili. No. Nah. <laughs> this one tastes like cherries. Dr. Pepper? Oh, yeah. Reminds me of like cherry slush puppies. Yep. Wing down. <laughs> I think you and I have very different wing tastes. You hate on me all the time because I love dry spice wings. Whereas you like a saucy oh, wing. There's, there's no other way. You have to have a saucy wing. I do like a standard hot wing though. I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out? Disgrace to the wings you're tapping out right now. All right, well, you're on film duty. I'm, doing so I'm, finishing, I'm finishing all those tickets. Three tickets left. Three wings. We got we to do another lap. There's a whole other side we didn't even see. All right, there's a place called Booties. It's a nine-time national Buffalo Wing Festival winner. Maybe we gotta go there. Three, if you're fine, it's Booties, please. Ooh, yeah! Who wants to come get some weight-taking video? Welcome to Booties, guys. You know we just want two more trophies, and it's been amazing. This is the crew. Welcome to Booties! That's right, that's right. we're festival sure favorite, it. baby! So here, that's this. Like oh, wow. Take that's that. way more than three. Well, this is why we're the best, man. This is why we're the best. Best in the Southwest. Becky, Becky and Chris and on Chris. YouTube. Becky Thank you. <laughs> yes. So you just got hooked up with like a shitload of wings. Babe, I, I can't eat any more than three. <laughs> I'm bringing so much dishonor to our family. Yeah, you are. What do we call this? Boneyard. I have like sauce all over my face. I made the mistake eating the hot one first. Now all of them taste hot. I need you to tell our viewers in the YouTube land about your two finger technique. Also applies to eating chips as well as wings. Oh, the two finger technique. You use no more than two fingers. From my morbid fear of getting my hands messy as a kid, and I just eat everything with two fingers. They're the only casualties. And here's my two bite technique. For two bone wings, you should be able to eat them in two bites. Two bites, done. I'm almost done. Not bad for a dry spice. Made it. 
Okay, quick debrief. Wait, before we debrief. I gotta check and see what kind of things, okay, there's stuff in there, but. Oh, there's so much stuff in my teeth right now. It, disregard the stuff in the teeth. Hold on. Which boots did you like the best? Well, the best is my hat right now. Uh, I don't know, they're all pretty good in their own ways. The first one we have is really crunchy, and well, I'm a fan of saucy wings, but I probably wouldn't go with that one. I actually preferred that because there was cheese in it, there was crunch, and it wasn't too spicy. Yeah, the way your heart is cheese, basically. A, wing Army, was it called? Wing Army, yeah. They had a good variety of saucy wings. So they had a good sort of theme going on. You like the babes with the tight pants, their butts. In terms of energy level. Booties. <laughs> booties. Booties had the best energy, best on camera performance. Yeah. They were like a standard hot wing, and I felt like I was a little bit winged out, and it was so full that I couldn't really give a good assessment of the booty wings. So overall, this was a good experience. We had a good time. But I don't think you can fairly pit the wings against each other in this non-controlled environment. I agree, I agree. I have to do like a wing bracket. All right. When we move to Buffalo. We'll do a wing bracket. Wing bracket. Okay. Peace out. I've got acid reflux. Tomorrow, we're going house hunting. I had way more wings than I thought I was gonna have to have. Gonna have to have? I thought I was gonna have to have. I, I can't even talk, I've had too many wings. Eight plus the nine he gave us again. So that's like 17 wings. That's like basically two pounds.